On January 22, 2025, the Chinese People's Liberation Army Navy officially commissioned the Luohe, hull number 545, the first of the Type 0554B frigates, during a ceremonial handover at Qingdao's naval port. This milestone marks a significant advancement in China's naval modernization efforts, positioning the Luohe as a key component in the plan's strategy for a versatile and technologically superior Blue Water Navy. The Type 054B frigate represents a substantial upgrade from its predecessor, the Type 054A class, signaling a generational leap in design, capabilities, and mission flexibility. With a displacement of approximately 5,000 tons, the Luohe incorporates state-of-the-art technologies that enhance its stealth, firepower, and operational versatility. A centerpiece of its design is the integrated mast, similar to that of the plan's Type 055 destroyers, which optimizes radar signature reduction and information processing. This innovation not only reduces the likelihood of detection by adversaries, but also improves the efficiency and accuracy of onboard systems, providing the frigate with a decisive edge in modern naval engagements. Compared to the Type 054A, the larger displacement of the Type 054B allows for an expanded array of weapons and systems, reinforcing its multi-role capabilities. Equipped with a 32-cell vertical launching system, the ship can deploy a variety of missiles, including advanced anti-ship, air defense, and land attack weapons. The frigate's main gun, likely a 100mm HPJ-87, and the Type 1130 close-in weapon system enhance its firepower, while HQ-10 air defense missiles provide an additional layer of protection. Its stern is designed to deploy towed sonars and decoys, complementing its anti-submarine warfare ASW capabilities. Furthermore, the frigate's large helicopter pad supports operations with the Harbin Z-20, extending its versatility in reconnaissance and ASW missions. The propulsion system of the Type 54B also reflects advancements in naval engineering. Likely employing hybrid or electric propulsion, the frigate achieves reduced noise signatures, crucial for ASW operations, while enhancing fuel efficiency and operational range. The shift towards quieter and more energy-efficient systems aligns with the plan's broader goals of fielding technologically advanced and sustainable naval assets. The Luohe is designed with a focus on stealth and survivability, emphasizing a clean and streamlined profile. The integrated mast consolidates various sensors and radar systems into a single structure, reducing the ship's radar cross-section while improving system interoperability. This design feature, borrowed from the larger and more capable Type 055 destroyers, highlights China's approach to standardizing advanced technologies across its fleet. The enclosed bow design is another significant enhancement, providing improved hydrodynamics and better protection against rough seas. This feature ensures greater operational stability, allowing the frigate to perform effectively in a variety of maritime conditions. The ship's hull design also incorporates measures to minimize acoustic signatures, a critical aspect for ASW missions. The dual-face rotating phased array radar, mounted on the forward integrated mast, represents a technological leap in detection and tracking capabilities. This radar system can simultaneously track multiple targets across various domains, from low-flying aircraft to high-speed missiles. Such advancements make the Type 054B a formidable platform for air defense operations, particularly in contested environments where rapid target acquisition and response are essential. The Type 054B's weapon configuration underscores its multi-role nature, allowing it to engage a wide spectrum of threats. The 32-cell VLS is a versatile platform capable of launching different types of missiles, including HQ-16 surface-to-air missiles, YJ-83 anti-ship missiles, and CJ-10 land attack cruise missiles. This flexibility enables the frigate to adapt to varying mission requirements, from fleet air defense to precision strikes on land-based targets. The main gun, likely the HPJ-87, is a 100-millimeter naval gun capable of engaging surface and air targets with high accuracy. 
Its rapid-fire capability provides an effective means of countering fast-approaching threats, such as small craft or incoming missiles. Complementing the main gun is the Type 1130 CIWS, an 11-barrel rotary cannon designed to intercept incoming missiles and aircraft at close range. This system boasts a high rate of fire, enhancing the ship's last line of defense. For ASW operations, the Type 05D4B is equipped with torpedo launchers and towed sonar systems. The stern features dedicated ports for deploying variable depth sonars and decoys, enabling the ship to detect and counter enemy submarines effectively. The integration of these systems reflects the plan's emphasis on countering submarine threats, particularly in contested areas like the South China Sea. The helicopter pad and hangar are designed to support the Harbin Z-20 helicopter, a versatile platform for ASW, search and rescue, and reconnaissance missions. The Z-20's integration extends the ship's operational reach, allowing it to perform missions beyond the range of its onboard sensors and weapons. Strategically, the commissioning of the Luohe underscores China's commitment to expanding its naval capabilities amid growing regional and global maritime competition. The frigate is designed to perform diverse missions, including patrol, escort, and power projection in contested waters such as the South China Sea and areas surrounding Taiwan. The plan's emphasis on multi-role platforms, like the Type 054B, reflects its strategy of achieving operational flexibility and dominance across a range of maritime scenarios. Reports indicate that at least two additional Type 054B frigates have already been launched, with another under construction, highlighting the plan's focus on expanding this class. Future deployments are likely to extend beyond regional waters, supporting Chinese interests in the Indian Ocean, the Mediterranean, and even the Caribbean. This demonstrates China's ambition to project power globally and secure its maritime interests far from its shores. The Luohe and its forthcoming sister ships face regional competition from advanced frigates fielded by Japan, South Korea, and India. For instance, Japan's Mogami-class frigates and South Korea's Daegu-class frigates incorporate sophisticated stealth features and advanced weaponry. Similarly, India's Project 17A frigates boast a formidable suite of sensors and weapons. While these regional competitors are comparable in many respects, the Type 054B stands out with its emphasis on a balanced multi-role design and integration within China's broader naval doctrine. The plan's ability to mass-produce such frigates at scale gives it a quantitative edge, complementing its qualitative advancements. In conclusion, the commissioning of the Luohe marks a pivotal step in the plan's transformation into a formidable water navy. By blending advanced technology with strategic versatility, the Type 034B frigate embodies China's modern warfare philosophy and signals its readiness to compete with regional and global naval powers. As the plan continues to expand its fleet, the Luohe serves as a harbinger of China's maritime aspirations and its pursuit of technological parity, or superiority, on the world stage.